You're already on there. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to my channel. I feel very awkward as somebody filming me talking to the camera. It's just me, Kels. Come on. I know. Um, this is my tap trunk. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's custom built. Let me let me just pan out and show you what everyone else's tack looks like. <laughs> We all, you know, look like rednecks, and then there's Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you call me out like that? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to keep it honest. It's, it's, it's very honest. I think people know that I'm a little bougie. Just a little bit. But I had this custom made by a local guy. I got the tack trunk plans off. I'll have to link the website down below. But I think there were 42 bucks for the plans, and I just gave him the plans, and he charged me... Seven hundred and eighty-two dollars. So it was under eight hundred bucks for this thing, and this is like birch wood, like really, really nice. And this is it's bougie. it's fancy. It's bougie. So I guess we'll start. Should we start with the bridles, or should we start with the drawers? What do you think? I guess we can start up here. Up here. It's not as tall as it used to be because she took all her pads home, <laughs> which you've seen. I've just got like. Uh, I don't want to say a crappy pad, but I've got my smart pack pad that when I forget to bring a fancy one, I have this here just in case. I've got my cross country vest, and then I have a back on track, uh, where are those things? The back warmer upper oh, thing. Oh, quarter sheet? Not really a quarter sheet, but kind of. And then over here, this is really awkward. <laughs> Over here, this is the half pad that I use on a daily basis. It's, it's disgusting. I need to wash it. It's so dirty. But this is a Lemieux one, and it's got, it's shimmable. And I have shims in the front pocket. And then I have two rubber, three rubber non-slip ones, which don't work. And then I have a foam one. And then I have a thin line one, which I don't use any of those. So this is the only one that I use. <laughs> so yeah, I guess. We can do the drawers. Let's start from the bottom. Peep the drawers. This is, I'm also missing uh, two bell boots. <laughs> you're missing, you're always missing I, bell I'm boots. I'm missing matching of everything. But it's I've like got, socks. Yeah, I've got an escadron bell boot, and then these are the show boots that I use sometimes when I don't use the CWD ones, which are in my show trunks, which are at home, which yes, I have two more show trunks at home. Full. <laughs> Sad but, moment. My yes, Jackson. <laughs> I've got the full-on sheepskin, flexi soft escadron boots, and then these are just regular schooling boots, um, just the escadron ones in the front, and then these I got off eBay and then came from China, but they were royal blue and they matched my bed, so I don't really use these that often. You don't know she's obsessed with the royal blue. I am. And then I've got uh, Pro Performance boots from Professionals Choice, and then I have the Magic to Keep um, cross country boots, which we don't really do cross country that much, so. And then this is a half of a ankle wrap. <laughs> for a horse, not for me. <laughs> and then here I've got, oh, another bell boot, me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you can see where my problems are. And I've got back on track black polo wraps, the white polo wraps, the um, quick wrap boots in here that I use for trailering and it shows. Brand new Some bell brand new bell <laughs> These are the avocado, avocado heel something or others. I got them for 10 for his back feet because when he used to go over like fences and he'd clip his back feet on them, he'd get really pissed. <laughs> so I thought maybe these would work, but they don't work. But I just haven't gotten rid of them. And then I've just got professional choice ones. Those the bell boots. Uh, this drawer is all kinds of vet stuff. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> <laughs> I've got coat defense. I've got Corona. Corona? Corona. <laughs> Corona? Kelsey? I don't have <laughs> <laughs> I've got a height measure and a belly measure thing, which isn't really that accurate, but one minute. Just 
disposable gloves, which really would come in handy when I'm doing showings. I don't know why I leave them in here. Whatever. And then we've got Duracell, Brush Buster, Brush Stuff, Preventative Powder. I don't even know what half this stuff is because I don't ever use it. Duct tape, because you never know when you're going to need to wrap some paint. Right. With a diaper. Yep. I've got Soul Paint that I got from the vet. PF Wonder Solve. I don't know what that is. Caratex Hoof Putty. Never used it. Banix. Dirty. I actually use this a lot. When I've got vet wrap and standing wraps and a needle. Mm -hmm. Next drawer is a hodgepodge of yarn. Crap. and I've got tack cleaning stuff back here. This is for braiding, which I bought and never used. Got some bridal plates, a donut for Sandy Martindale, earplugs. I guess these go to like when you put a name on your, <laughs> on your halter. Um, some warmer, a hairnet, some latex bandage. Actually, I used to put this on 10 bit. I got that tip from Alyssa Wallace. She used to put it on one of her bits, and so I was like, I want to be Alyssa Wallace. So. <laughs> Put it on my bed and it didn't work. <laughs> and then I was pissed. <laughs> Yarn. Tens Rescue picky. remedy. Yes. Never used it. That stuff that they put on quarter horses to make their faces all glowy. Yeah, I thought I needed that. And I'm pretty sure I was there when you bought that at the show. Did you buy that at the show? Maybe. But this I put all over your horse's stall and he ate right through it. So. Mm hmm. My horse you, will eat anything. If you have ever put this on and then, like, it sticks to your fingers mm -hmm. like the magic cushion stuff does, but, like, you wash it off, and then I went and I did this, and I got it in my eye, and my eye went on fire for, like, a day and a half. It was, like, sticky, and it was stuck. All right. Now for the, the fun stuff. This is my bridal... Randomness. Mm-hmm. I've got... Lots of brow bands. I've got just like, I've got a random book in here. I've got lots of extra bridal pieces. I organized this. Remember when I organized mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. um, I've got a bib from CWD. I've got a bunch of extra rings in here. Nose bands. Just, I'm not gonna go through all that. A lot of hours. extra shit. I guess the running joke is that you need anything that's in the Kelsey stack trunk, because <laughs> I got it. Okay, and I can't see up here, but can I. we have lots of, lots of bits in here. Many, many bits. I need, I want to get a bit box, but one thing at a time. <laughs> and I've got shims for my half pads, and then I've got extra bonnets back here that aren't like matchy ones, so I've got... Oh, this actually is way too big for my horses, so you can have that. Dibs! Um, this one is as well. There you go. I got it. Uh, Hold on. See, the perks of being my friend. <laughs> and the perks of having a horse with really large ears. Uh, that one fits. Yeah. Oh, that one. Oh, I forgot I had that. See? <laughs> but yeah, lots of brow bands and... Saddles. This pack trunk is amazing. It's got this little slide out thing. This is Ten's New Girth. It's the Shikamole. Shakamole. I don't even know. Guacamole? Guacamole, yep. It's really nice. I actually used it today. <laughs> and my saddle maybe it didn't slip back because I had the Dion breastplate on it, but <laughs> <laughs> this is my saddle that I use on Ten as of right now. I actually have the Antara's rep coming out on June 7th. And this is the Evolution model. It's an older one. And I've got CWD stirrup leathers and Sam Shield shielder up stirrups, which are awesome. Love them. So that's Tim's saddle. Um, jump saddle, at least. Tim also is bougie and has. Just like his owner. 
back for that. <laughs> this is a Lemieux Gel Tech Contoured Girth, and I'm so happy I found this saddle cover because now it's like a unicorn saddle cover, clearly, and I found it for $16 on Dressage Performance. Nice. This is my Dressage saddle. It is a custom saddlery Everest model. Ooh. So beautiful. And this yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Name wow. plate. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. <laughs> these are the Herm Springer. All these fancy brands, I, I just, I cannot. She gave up on pronunciation mm -hmm. a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are the Flexite stirrups. I actually really like them a lot. And these are the, I think these are total, I think these are total saddle fit stability stirrups. I don't have. <laughs> I haven't tried any other dressage stirrups, so I don't know how to compare them to anything else, but... Okay, they got to put this back on. <laughs> if anybody knows the struggle of putting on a freaking saddle cover on a dressage stirrup, you know my pain. Oh. Struggling. <laughs> the trunk could be a little wider in that point. I even had him made it more wide. It's just when you've got three in here. here. It's a little bit of a struggle. This is what I need to do, and then I can get it. Theo saddle, and this actually came in today. So did Ten's girth, but this is the Lemieux Gel Tech girth, and this is the anatomical one. And it was great. It's very soft, nice and fuzzy—not fuzzy, but nice and squishy. And this is oh, more nameplate. More nameplate. This is on Antares, and yes, I have a CWD saddle cover. Oh, stunning! I know we're faking it, <laughs> but this is a—I think this is the—this is the classic model, and I've got CWD stirrup leathers on it, and these are the Sam Shield Shielder Up stirrups in gold. Cause you know why not? Taylor has them in rose gold, I think. I think she does too. Yeah. Because I rode in her saddle, and she's actually the she is actually the cause of that. Because I rode in her saddle, and I was like, I want these stirrups, so I bought. That's why I took your free jump stirrups yeah. real quick. I was like, I love them. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much all of my tack is just hand me downs of Kelsey's. Yep. My saddles, her stirrups, okay. stirrup leather. <laughs> Beautiful. Done. Okay. Next strap, which you actually could probably use. I use with ten on cross country. Um. Yeah. Rooster thought he was in cross country today. Mm. <laughs> he did. He was very fast. He was very fast. He was very fast. And I'm pretty sure that's not as fast as he can go. And it kind of terrified me. Drink. This is Theo's bridle. I actually use this bit on him today. Man, it was great. It's really dirty, but this is that one that I just, I don't know what video is gonna go up first, the tack haul or this one, but either way, this was in the tack haul. Mm -hmm. And this is just a fuzzy thing. Nose band. Cover. And yeah, I think these are smart pack reins. Shockamole bridle is the Connor bridle, no flash because the other doesn't need one. And this is Tens bridle, and oh no, it's a CWD. I don't know what the model is, but it's one of the flash ones, and he is in a Myler loose ring MB33, which I think I've said so many times. <laughs> There's that. Somebody commented on one of my posts, and they were like. The bit and the tail swish. I'm like, he's in a loose ring. You might as well just be in a mullen mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, 
The tail swish is just a sass thing on his part and a concentration thing. That boy will move his tail for everything. He learns a fly. He's like... So this is my newest Dion bridle. Just a regular flash bridle. This is a Myler level 1. This is the one I plan to use on Olaf. He did good in this one, but he is just like... He's not as respectful, surprisingly, as 10 is. Mm -hmm. So he needed to go down to the level 1. Um, this is a level 3, so... I don't have a level two, so I'm gonna try him in the level one and see how he does. I may have to end up buying another one. Oh my god. God forbid. Yeah, I may bit. have to actually end up buying a different bit. I was thinking about getting a little stronger. <laughs> I was thinking about getting one with hooks that like you can make a gag bit. But I don't know. So yep, and that's this hat this bridle has the um, German Martin gill on. So I'll have to do a whole nother video on that because it's a very controversial piece of stuff. Oh yeah, I noticed. But! I see if your con depends more than you do. <laughs> like, I will start fight before right. Kelsey does. <laughs> right, I know. Um, this is a PSF Sweden New York bridal and... Pretty brown Yes, it's so pretty. I love them. And it's just got a voucher French link on it. I don't, I don't think I've ever really used that bit, but... It's on there in case it needs it. I don't really use that bridle that much. This is Ten's dressage bridle. It's got the same bit as his jump bridle because he goes in the same bit no matter what we're doing. He doesn't really need anything else, surprisingly. And <laughs> He's gotten of, much better. He has. He's gotten much better. I haven't seen him buck in a while. I haven't either. Except for when we were in the indoor. I thought he was going to be wild today, but he was pretty respectful. Rooster was wild. I think they switched personalities. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but this is his dressage bridle, and then I have another dressage bridle here. And this just has a Myler. I think this is a level one or a level two. Maybe this is a level two. I don't know. It's a something level, but it's got the copper roller, and this is a nun thinner bridle. Nun thinner. They're actually really nice. I really like the nun thinner stuff. Okay. Next slide. <laughs> We've got... This is just a plain HDR bridle. It's got some other bit on it. I don't even know what bit this is. My guess is it's probably a Hermspringer or a Steuben or some sort. Don't know. <laughs> Just an extra bridle, just in case I ride a lot of horses. And sometimes I just need to have an extra. Can't relate. Um, I mean, I have lots of extras, but um, this crown makes us a really good thing. This is my CWD figure eight bridle, and it's got a French link D ring on it and CWD reins. It looks disgusting. It, but this you was just nice. cleaned it. I know, they just get so dirty. I don't even think you used it. I didn't. Maybe I didn't clean it good enough, but that used to be my show bridle. I don't really do like show bridles and schooling bridles because they go, like what they go in good at home, I would prefer to just use at a show. Mm -hmm. um, but this is that part of, this is the uh, German Martingale. So that's what I ride Olaf in. I've ridden 10 in it, and it actually really helped. I only ridden him, rode him in it, ridden him, rode him in it twice, and it really helped. I noticed a huge difference today. And then I've got a Marigo, is this an Amerigo? Uh, no, an Armas. I don't know, it's some high-end brand that I don't really see much, but standing Martingale. And breastplates. This is the Dion cross breastplate. This is Theo's breastplate that I use on him. It's very interesting. Mm hmm. You Difficult. could say that again. Difficult to put on sometimes, but yep, that's his. This is Tim's new breastplate, which I took this piece off because I actually need to go and order another one of these so it hooks onto the girth. But I just took it off for today. And this is the Dion breastplate. It's the anatomic 
ankle one. I really liked it. I found it fit pretty true to size. Tim's a horse size and most breastplates and he's not on like the last hole. He's like pretty much in the middle. So I feel like it, mm. it works pretty well. And then this is Tim's massage breastplate because my saddle slips back because of his massive freaking shoulders. Um, I don't know what brand this is. I think this is a nun spinner as well. But these are actually pretty hard to find. I got I locked out and found it in black, but leather on the front, elastic. Oh yeah. That is everything. That's it? Well, I mean, that's here. <laughs> There's we space. could go to the two outside. And... I already filmed both. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. I just meant at home. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. I meant, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's my tack trunk tour. Everybody's <laughs> been asking for it. I feel shameful, but you know what? I'm actually getting another custom tack trunk made. All right, my camera overheated at that last clip, so I didn't get the rest of that, which we were pretty much done anyway. But I am showing you right now what is in front of my stalls. This is 10 stalls, so I've just got a bunch of random stuff up on the top. Hoof oil, Keratex, Vaseline for the sides of their lips, um, more hoof oil, Copper Talks, some Wonder Dust, some MTG. Um, this is... A little rack that I just hang their blankets on and then the trunks that I have in front of their stalls keep my grooming bag with all of the brushes each of them have their own set got some back on track fetlock boots and the front tendon boots and then I also have um, two CWD cleaning kits in there there's a helmet bag usually that I put my helmet in and in this little tray there's just a bunch of random crap <laughs> so that's where I keep extra spurs, I keep um, my sponge, I keep some a hoof pick just for easy access. And then this is Theo's stall, so I've got his blankets there. And then I have the r same rack that I have on Ten stall, and I've got some more hoof oil, some more Keratex, Shoshin, Sport Horse Essentials Shampoo Spray, Sport Horse Essentials Hoof Oil, and then the same trunk. This one just doesn't have that little rack. So that is his grooming box. And then I've got some Magic Cushion. I've got two things of that. A box of treats, and they are the, um, I, have to, I, don't, I can't remember which ones they are. And then I've got the Performance Refinery wraps and then a hoof uh, a soaker my bathing tote and there's Theo so that is it for my tack trunk tour I wanted to show you guys um, what I have out front because like I said I am getting a custom one so once that's done I will do a full full tour and the full process on that but yeah and this is a love stall I just have some halters on his and I'm waiting for some more stuff to come in but I hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one bye